hey youtube welcome back to my channel so the megsy and the harry have been extremely busy so megan and harry have been spotted and packed conveniently delivering food on behalf of those who are poor and needy and of people who live in food poverty in LA in their new neighborhood. I find it quite ridiculous that every single thing that they are doing is now being papped. They've even been papped walking their dogs through the woods which I find quite interesting and to be honest with you I think it's very much staged. Now ever since Megsy and Harry left the UK and fulfilled their royal engagements their PR has been non-stop from Harry being hacked and speaking to the fake Greta Thumb to Megan and all of her antiques that she's been doing to the whole kerfuffle with their website and the hackers they've managed to have a story out and try and grab the headlines every single day before they were packed in LA delivering food and it was on behalf of a company called Project Angel Food which is a charitable food project they had their friends leaking to the media about Harry's depressed in LA and how Harry's feeling down in LA and how he's struggling to adjust then we've had all the stories leaking to the media regarding them wanting a second child and I'm going to make a separate video about that because I do believe there's some truth in that I do believe that they would probably on Megan's part probably is desperately looking to have a baby girl because we know that she has this silent jealous um, feud going on with Kate. I don't think Kate's aware of this but Megan is definitely in competition with her and Kate right now she has her little princess. She has Princess Charlotte. Megsy on the other hand doesn't and she needs the PR. She needs every kind of bit of attention that she could possibly find. So I was analysing the CCTV footage that was released by TMZ the other day of Megan and Harry desperately floundering about outside this apartment building and they looked rather ridiculous. From what I could see, Harry had some kind of bandana on his face, which looked weird. And Megan had the Project Angel food um, delivery cap on. And she also had proper PPE, proper uh, a proper face mask, surgical face mask. And she had the proper protection. Harry looked really hot. He looked really bored. He looked really frustrated. And he looked kind of zoned out, to be honest. Megan was beckoning him and stifling him and telling him where to go, to go to the left, to go to the right. And they looked really they just looked out of source and they definitely looked like they wanted to be packed. Harry was desperately looking around as they dropped off this box of food, these cooked containers of food to a client of the project. He was desperately looking around and as you can see in the images that I'm flashing up here, he was looking around to see whether the media was papping him or if anyone was taking any photos. They both looked really desperate for attention. Megsy looks like she is gained a bit of weight. I don't know if that signifies that she's possibly pregnant, but I just find it quite astounding that Megan happens to be running the streets of LA, putting herself at risk, putting Harry at risk, when they flew all the way to the UK to finalise their royal engagements and they left baby Archie behind because they wasn't sure of the transference of the pandemic and the transference of the COVID. So I find it quite strange the way in which they've now just scrapped that and they're running the streets every single day and exposing themselves and their dogs as well to the COVID. So not only has that been going on, also Megsy seems to have had a Zoom call. I was going to say a Skype call, but she made a Zoom call to one of the first community projects that she worked with when she was a senior member of the Real Family. And it is called Hub Community Kitchen. Now they are based in North Kensington. And if you guys can remember a while back, I think it was the the same year that she married Harry. She encouraged the women and she worked with the women on a community kind of blended recipe cookbook and they donated all the proceeds back to the project 
and to refurbish the building that they currently have their head office out of. So she jumped on a Zoom call with these women and these women are from Grenfell Tower and that's what the project does. It supports people who were afflicted by Grenfell Tower and the fire of Grenfell Tower. So she was talking about on the call how it's so nice to have, you know, community when, you, when you're down on your luck and she said to them a home cooked meal from one neighbor to another when they need it most is what community is all about then she went on to say i'm so proud of the women of the hub community kitchen and the continued support the phoenix project gives them to carry out these acts of goodwill which at this moment are urgently needed yawn 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 what i find quite interesting about her saying that is that this is someone who spent most of 2019 jumping on and off of private planes uh with harry and they was flowing flying all around the place hanging around with george and mel clooney and elton john and all of these a-listers and then at the end of it in the middle of a bomb stricken place in africa south africa they said she said it to for me to quote it's not enough to um survive i want to thrive and it's kind of like mm, okay that's interesting you have had a 45 million pound wedding a 400 thousand pounds wedding dress you've been on and off of private planes you have every single designer item known to man from prada to chanel to gucci to dior you've been flying all around the world not just they were on holiday most of last year let's face it they done their royal um engagements in the common wealth she spent around a hundred thousand to no no it wasn't sorry it was nine hundred thousand pounds on her maternity wardrobe she spent the most money that a duchess has ever spent right fulfilling her royal engagements there was nothing that was off of her limits she had clothes from victoria beckham everything she wanted and then she talks about how she just needs to she needs to thrive not just survive then they step back from senior royals and it's just really now you're talking about home cooked meals and it just reeks out desperation to look like they are caring humanitarians her and him on the other hand we have prince william who recently opened up over skype you know royals do not have to risk their lives or their children's lives but they can still be doing things william and kate have been consistently helping us during the pandemic which has been really nice to see i think that megan and harry have seen this and gotten very envious so william opened up a nightingale hospital which are popping up all over the uk to help with the you know, the pressure of the NHS so they've opened up a lot more hospitals they are temporary makeshift hospitals so William opened one up over Skype in Birmingham if you're from the US or Canada or anywhere else in the world it's completely it's a different city to the to London so they opened uh, he opened it up over Skype and it was really nice so he's really been doing things and talking about mental health and we also have the lovely Tom Moore who has now raised 20 million pounds yeah that's UK pounds to donate to our national health service which is really so we have a lot of people over here doing relevant things now we have Megan and Harry running around like two headless chickens in LA delivering meals to the needy what I find quite, I don't know, it's very conflicting to me and doesn't make sense is the fact that the security costs that they are, the security bill that they are running through the roof right now to do all of this philanthropic work that they are pretending to do, they're pretending to be philanthropic, is probably through the roof for these two they, every time they're out and about we know that it costs them it costs us the uk taxpayer who's still footing the bill for their philanthropy and for their lifestyle in la their jet setting a list lifestyle we're still paying for it it must cost way more and be out doing the good that they're doing now we know that they on behalf of them the bbc donated ninety thousand pounds of the proceeds that they made during a streaming of their wedding they donated that on their behalf but that security bill for just one single week is about ninety thousand pounds so i think personally mexi and harry do more damage than good to the general public by doing what they're doing a security guard per day costs at least a thousand pounds 24 hours plus going out and driving you know following them around they downgraded allegedly during these la runs from a porsche to a cadillac apparently and they're desperate to be seen they're desperate to be spoken about and it's so obvious 
Another thing that I found was really extremely insulting. And I think that this is an example of Megsy literally piggybacking on the back of the UK and any clout she can get off of the UK is that she's now set up this food project with the women from the community hub and she's instructed them the community kitchen sorry so she's instructed them to cook between 260 to 300 meals a week in their own kitchens and she's instructed them to also go out and about in London and deliver it to the poor and needy residents of London. I think that it's a positive project for those who are going to be using the service but I think it's an insult because the reality of it is is if she really cared about the poor needy residents in London she would have stayed here in Frogmore Cottage with Harry, they would not have left Can um, uh, Baby Archie back in Canada. They would have brought Baby Archie to the UK and they would have stayed here and they would have weathered the storm of this pandemic along with William and Kate, possibly even stayed on as senior royals due to the pandemic and they would have made a difference. You see, I think where Meghan and Harry really screwed up on this one is the fact that if they would have just done the extra month in the UK, lived in Frogmore for the month and done all the good charitable things that they are now trying to do, which is not really that great because uh, the security costs are just a waste of money. But if they would have done that, they possibly could have won us back. They possibly could have won the UK public back right now as it stands people do not want them back they do not want them to resume their old positions they do not want them back as senior members of the royal family they are not interested in them they do not want them to come back we do not you know so many public polls have proven this that people are not interested with it. they're just simply not i'm personally not interested i think it's too little too late Everything that they're doing, they could have been, they could have done over here and actually made a name for themselves. They would have gotten more headlines because they're struggling to get clout. They're struggling to get attention. It reeks of desperation, desperate PR. They're desperate to make themselves look like two charitable, generous human beings so that when they finally do launch their Archwell brand, which is still very much up in the air, they can get donations and sponsors because this isn't really about us. This is about getting the big names behind them. You know, the big banks, JP Morgan's, Goldman Sachs. That's what they want. They want big money investors. And I just think it's not going to work because you're in the wrong postcode, guys. <laughs> you're in the wrong location. Your D your GPS is off. It's rerouted into a dead end. <laughs> Uh, anyway guys I'm gonna go so that's your updates I know I've gone a bit fast here but you know I'll be back with another video I'm probably gonna come back with what I think about their baby plans I do think, think that these plans are real anyway bye guys